Oh, look at this, Mr. Jeffrey. What's the matter? What do you make of that? What do you found? I give this one to you. No sound. Let me tell you. Tell you, Frankie, you've been away too long. Where's Tommy? He'll be coming. Coming? He'll. <laughs> Enjoy your day out. Egg piece. Popcorn. Popcorn? Yeah, popcorn. That's the password. Whoever says it first, that's it. We split. Popcorn. Right. Got it. Okay. Let's keep it under 30 minutes. Lady Harriet. Hello, Mrs. Prescott Lowell. May I present Lieutenant Dempsey? I am so happy to meet you. Yeah, same here. I am thrilled, just thrilled you could come. We wouldn't have missed it for the world. Come along with me, dear. There are so many people who I know will be just dying to meet you. Well, don't just stand there. Circulate. Popcorn. Dempsey? Like a 
The bourbon's pretty good. I love the bourbon. Thank you. Cheers. You're right. James Dempsey. Angie Hughes. Hi, Angie. Hello, James. You a daughter? A daughter? Yeah, good old George. Uh-uh. I didn't think so. Don't knock it. They made America what she is. Hey, who's knocking it? You know, I support all that stuff. What stuff? Stuff they support. <sighs> George Washington always told the truth. You want the truth? You think Martha Washington really looked like that? Why not? It's hard to imagine. I don't know. Sure would account for the War of Independence. <laughs> Just a couple more days, take care of some business and see the sights. Then it's back to the States. How about you? I've worked here. Oh? I'm a cop. Sounds interesting. It has its moments. <laughs> Thank goodness you're still... What's up? Popcorn. Pardon me? Popcorn. Popcorn? Yeah. There's some popcorn by the door. Well, why don't you go have some? Dempsey. Excuse me. Time's up. We've had a call. Look, make peace. We're wanted now. How do I reach you? I'm staying at the Bridgewater. I'll call you. Don't make any plans. Make peace. Don't say a word. High velocity rifle, 30 or 40 yards, one bullet through the temple. Simple, but very skillful. Sounds like a professional job. Meaning? Contract killing. Hmm. Who was this guy? Frank Price, one of Jack Lang's mob. Jack runs the biggest gang in South London. Price went over the wall this morning. That's as far as he got. They broke them out so they could kill him. Why? You tell me. He's obviously somebody Price trusted, otherwise he wouldn't have moved. So Price is one of Lang's boys? Yeah. Trouble is, it don't feel right. This is not the way old Jack operates. All the same, that's where we'll start. As I'm praying, it's not down to somebody else. You with me, Sergeant? Someone like Bunny Silk? Yeah. Because if it is, this is just the bloody start of it. Oh, and another thing. Frank don't have anyone with the talent for this kind of job. So if it is a contract... They brought him in from the outside. What did he mean this could be just the start of it? And who the hell is Bernie Silk? Bernie Silk runs the West End, plus a fair chunk of North London. Jack Lang controls the South. Up till now, they've left each other alone, respected each other's territories. But if Bernie's had one of Jack's boys killed, peace is over. This could be the beginning of a war. Lang's one of the old breed. He's into pubs, betting shops, street corner protection. Bernie came later. He's into gambling clubs, pornography, prostitution. But he's never tried to move across the river. You think he's moving now? Spiking stars, and that's what counts. Here? The guy lives here? He's old school, like I said. I hope you like fruitcake. Fruitcake? So, how's my old mate Gordon Spikings, eh? 
Uh, he's very well, Mr. Lang. He sends you his regards. <laughs> Does he now? You hear that, Tommy? Well, you make sure you give him our best regards. He's sorry he couldn't come himself, but he is, of course, rather busy. Oh, yeah. What's he on, then? Frank Price's murder. Well, that, uh, that sounds reasonable. Frank Price was one of your boys, Mr. Lang. You must be very interested to know how he was killed. Unless, of course. Unless, of course, what? I talked to him. You, one of your boys. Now, you listen to me. And you, Margot. I had nothing to do with Frankie's killing. And Spike knows it. Just like he knows full well who did. You think so? Oh, yeah. I know so. And I'll tell you something else. Tell Spike he's to get his skates on and pull him in. Because if he don't, there are them that will. Granddad! 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 Ah, Daddy, my little one. How are you, my love? Right. Did you have a nice day at school today? Yes. That is lovely. Give Granddad a kiss there. <laughs> Here, say hello to some nice people. Go on. Go on. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> Would you like a nice piece of Nana's cake? Eh? Yeah. Yeah. Just give another kiss then. Ooh, lovely. Hold oh, still. Oh, yeah. Tell Spikings he's got uh, 48 hours. Two days. That's all I'm giving him. Two days to pull that... <laughs> uh, to pull that party in. Otherwise, you'll do what, Mr. Lang? Oh, <laughs> oh, he knows. Oh, yeah. He knows. for Lang's 48 hours. One of Bernie Silk's mob was topped at the dog track last night. And nobody saw a thing. A revenge killing. What else? But Lang said it we was... moved to maximum surveillance. I want round the clock teams, phone taps, the lot. And watch yourselves. Looks like we've got a war on our hands. This is your phone, and I'm going to use it. Do you mind? Didn't you hear what he said? Yeah, I'm going to be tied up for a couple hours. This is important. Everything's important, Makepeace. It depends on how you look at it. Well, I'm not waiting. Well, I didn't ask you to. Well, if you don't come Shh. back... Hotel Bridgewater. Yeah, you got to miss the engine you used there. There he is. Come on, come on, my son. Lovely. Well, do we go? Oh, yeah.
I know I'm late. 22 minutes, but who's counting? I decided to walk. It's a good day for it. I love this town, don't you? Well, at the moment, I'd say... Getting better all the time? Now. Sounds like goodbye. No. You must have a pretty tight schedule. I'll loosen it for you. What are you working on at the moment? You? No, seriously. I'd love to know. Contract killing. When do you go back? To the hotel? To the States. Oh, tomorrow. Or the next day at the latest. I can't leave it much longer. You open to a little friendly persuasion? <laughs> that depends on how pricing you are. Something's here. Here, where is he? He's busy. He'll be Get him in here. Fast! Decor. It's not quite my taste, sir. Well, yeah, he is with some good faces. Charitable work. He's uh, just coming. I'll be next door. You stay. Mr. Spikings. What a pleasure to see you. Sit down, make yourself comfortable. Colors a nice touch, Bernie. In mourning, are you? Mourning? For your boy who got done at the dog track last night. What's your problem, Chief Superintendent? Not mine, Bernie boy. Yours. Somebody's just given Jack Lang a surprise present. Oh. Yeah. Blew out one of his betting shops a couple of hours ago. Did they now? I trust you don't think it was me. No, I haven't got you down as a bomber, Bernie. Not personally. You haven't got the guts. I don't have to listen to no, this. No, but one of your firm... Well, that's different, isn't it? You're very good at giving orders, aren't you, Bernie? Chief Superintendent, I know nothing about this bombing. I've got no quarrel with Jack Lang. But if you persist with these allegations... You'll do what? To hell with you. I'm going to phone my solicitor. Uh, you made that call. Look very good in the newspapers. I'm a respectable businessman. <laughs> Since when? I do a great deal for charity. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I forgot. Well, you make that call, Bernie, and I guarantee you can whistle for your knighthood. Is there anything else? Not just now. But I'm breathing on you, Bernie boy. Can you feel it? Right on your neck. You make one wrong move, just one, and I'll nail you to the wall. You got that? Listen, we never started this, but we've been it. And I say we hit back. No. There's something going on I don't understand. Until I do, we do nothing. Jack, that's twice Bernie's clobbered us. 
Now I say we wipe him out. <laughs> and then what, eh? Take over his manor, do we? Why not? Because he's got my doobie. Oh, no, that is why not. He has got my little granddaughter, Debbie. Hmm? Now, you listen to me. Because I'm only going to say this once. Anyone who makes a move without my saying, anyone, and I will break his bleeding back personally. Understood? Just let's talk some sense, shall we? Hey. Numéro 7, rouge enterrement. Voilà, madame, vous gagnez. Merci. Faites vos jeux, mesdames et messieurs. Faites vos jeux maintenant. Rien ne va plus maintenant. Rien ne va plus. La balle roule. Numéro 10. Noir par non. Voilà, madame. Gagnez encore. Beaucoup de chance ce soir. Faites vos jeux, mesdames et messieurs. Faites vos jeux. Merci. Numéro 14. Rouge par mort. Je paye le deuxième dizaine. Voilà, madame. Vous gagnez encore. Coup de chance. How are we doing out there? Happy as sand, boys. Chucking the money away like there's no tomorrow. Well, you're coining it, Bernie. Gee. You know, Tony, with a setup like this, who needs crime? Mm -hmm. Any word from Jack Lang? Why should there be? Well, he'll be pretty mad about that bombing. Well, I'm sure he's mad, but it wasn't us. He must know that. I'm sorry, if Jack's got trouble on his patch, that's his problem. <laughs> you know what Jack's like. You've got a short memory, well, Tony, Tony. Tony, Jack and I, we got an understanding. Oh, well, sue yourself. What do you mean, sue yourself? What do you know? Nothing. Because if I hear you've been talking to those slags... Burn it, Silk. What's wrong, James? I don't like losing. Is that it? I rented the wrong suit. I look like a waiter. James, you look fine to me. Fine. Could I have your attention, please, everybody? Unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, I have to ask you to vacate the premises immediately. Now, if you follow the staff's directions and please leave in an orderly manner. It's a fire? It's a fire! No need to panic, everybody. Just leave as quickly as you can at once, please. Thank you very much. Thank you. Come back to the hotel. I'll call you. You're not coming? I'll call you later. James! Sorry, sir, the casino. It's a bomb, right? Yeah. Did you tell him it's time? Fifteen minutes. Call the cops? I just did it. Move it.
Charlie One to control. Over. It's all receiving you, Charlie One. Over. Arrival Bernie Silk's Club in approximately 10 minutes. Out. Take the next left, sir, then cut up through the market. Remind me to ring Mrs. Spikey to the castle. <laughs> Because this thing may be magnetic. No problem. Concentrate. This will be one hell of a way to go. Timer. Detonator. Explosive. It's a good job. You sound like an expert. Are you? You better hope so. Get me a chip. A chip? A chip. Just any old chip? trouble is it has to be the right wire. And if it isn't? Hamburger time. How many wires are there? Two. Any way of knowing? Uh-uh. You're going to guess it? Yeah, something like that. Which is it, Dempsey? I think this one. No. No? You figure this one. I think we have a communication problem. I'd say that's exactly what we have. And how are we going to resolve it? Toss a coin. Cut the cards. Mm -mm. Okay, lover. You're the boss. Plays all night. And again, this was my first hunch. Lady, 
I don't have any choice. Be lucky, Angie. You too, James. Well, 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 look who's here. When danger calls, they're never there. It was a hoax? Nah, it was real enough. But it's been taken care of. Some guy called Dempsey. Ever heard of him? Yeah. Make peace. Look, no, I was sleeping. Um, can wait till morning. Thanks. Bye. Now, where were we? You were about to tell me something real important. About explosive devices. Oh, yeah. Well, you see, baby, the golden rule is always handle with extreme care. Shut up and listen. And mind your language. This is an open line. Don't know who's listening in. Now, the party in question is in very good nick. Still, expect you'll like her back. If you've harmed her... But there are conditions. You with me, Mr. Lang? Yeah. What are they? Well, we'll be in touch with the details. You tell me now. Just be available. Mr. Lang, we won't be using the phone no more. You listen to me, Hurst! Oh, and Mr. Lang, we won't be using the phone no more. You listen to me, Hurst, I'll just about... Right, I want blanket covering. Shoot the works, OK? I'll take Lamb, you handle Bernie. Take Dempsey with you and stake him out. I want to... Where is Dempsey? Dempsey? Resting, I imagine. Resting? After his exertions last night. You were a bit abrupt on the phone last night. Yeah, I was in the middle of a good dream. Well, I hope she made you breakfast. Looks like Bernie's on his way to the club. Think so? Hmm, where else? He's in no hurry, that's for sure. Off. Now we're both in a position to bargain. But first, first there's something else. He wants you. 
Jack, what's on your mind? The truce. You guarantee it? Yeah, I guarantee it. No violence. That's a promise. Now you got to do one for me. You stay well out of it. This is between me and Bernie. I want your word, Gordon. You have my word. I'll take that. Oh. Thanks. Oh, thank you. You didn't think you'd get away that easy, did you? What's the matter? Nothing. Nothing at all. We'll take your car to the airport. I'll get those. No, I can handle it. Turn around, James. Nice and easy. Be careful. I know how to use this. I guess you do. Now, hands on the trunk. Load the trunk. And be sure to leave a space for you. Cheers, Jack. No odd feelings. You wait. Jack, for the love of God, can't you see? He set us up. Move it. Give us a hand here. Oh. 
I didn't know either. Not till now. They did it deliberately. They wanted a war. For why? So you and Bernie would take each other out, and they'd have it all for themselves. Carve it up between them. Gordon. You broke your word. You call this a guarantee of no violence? <coughs> This is well in your case, Jack. Don't know Bob Bernie. I wonder if you can get a posthumous knighthood. Where the bloody hell have you been? That's a really good question. She was a professional killer. She really was. 